the decision by Angelina Jolie, and she got the, the BRAC test, uh, decided to get the double mastectomy. We in morning television, you and Good Morning America, us with the Today Show, wow, that's great ratings. That's gonna be something that everybody wants to talk about. What did you feel like your challenge was when you were reporting on this famous person that's doing this and making sure, you, you, are, are you gonna end up encouraging more people to do it or discouraging, you know, that line of is it right for everyone? I think, first of all, what, what I think of when I cover a story like that is absolutely identical to what I think about when I sit in my office in front of a person, a patient. Um, and that's why I will always have my, my own practice, because I feel like if you are going to speak about medicine on television as a physician, and where we hybridize our roles as physician and healer and also as media represent, representative and journalist, it, where those two intersect in that Venn diagram is a person. So my standard when I talk about a public figure is always to consider that person first and foremost. Um, and as you know, a lot of times we in the media will jump on a celebrity-based story that um, potentially what's covered in the media is not going to be received so well by that person. You know, it might be a late stage. We just stage. did this. That's we right. just had this challenge with Bo Biden. That's right. Um, and this was actually a story that I was helping, frankly, I'll be honest, so everything when, when, Nan, when you, you, my colleague Nancy Steinerman would report on things, I frankly would go check with the family in my context, because I was very concerned right. about it. I mean, it's not fair. It, correct. And so my responsibility even, and by the way, I'm not Angelina's physician, <laughs> is as if I were, which is to protect that person and that patient first, especially when they're a public figure. And that's something that, as you know, we cover in the media absolutely all the time. I think when you take that story to a, a deeper, more complex and significant medical level in terms of the media coverage, I think we could have done a lot better in covering that story. And I think that um, when you talk about the BRCA gene for two and a half days, morning and night, on national television, and you fail to mention prominently at every opportunity that men carry the BRCA gene and mutation, and that men are at risk for not just one type of cancer, but a, a plethora of cancers, and that men can pass that gene to their son or daughter with a 50% rate, I think we have not done our job to educate people well. And the reason that we probably didn't hear more of that in the media is because when you say, well, let's talk about male breast cancer, or let's talk about men with the BRCA mutation, people say, can we talk about how Brad Pitt didn't leave her side when she had her mm. breast chopped off? Well, you it's know, funny that, you bring that, this up. <laughs> Do you find that, that there are more, and, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna move this around, but do you find that there is more pressure to report about women's health than men's health? on morning television? Well, as a women's health specialist, I don't think that we cover gynecologic cancers as much as we could or should. And, and we were talking earlier in the evening, and you know as well as I do the reason for that. It's because, you know, the V word is not suitable for people when they're having their morning cereal. And um, it's not as sexy a topic on evening news to talk about vulvar cancer or cervical cancer. Um, so I think that that's a problem. And I think that on the flip side of it, however, that that coverage of that story did a tremendous amount in terms of educating uh, the, the lay public about the cancer gene. I think that we could have done it in a more complete manner. And I think that as you started off the question, Chuck, by saying you know she had a prophylactic mastectomy and that was the New York Times article, she also had her ovaries removed. And no one heard about that. You know what? You're right. I didn't know. I, I didn't know anybody didn't. I mean, I thought it was. I mean, I know what my sister-in-law did. She did it all, you know, right. and that's how so I... So the witness may step right, down, not, so that's the point. I don't feel like saying point. it either. So, I'll just say she did it all, right. you know. So we did not do, in my opinion, a good enough job of explaining that that's as much of the story as the other stuff.